I don't think these measures are going to have a huge impact. I mean, it's really an opening gambit, isn't it? Because I think even during December, when everyone was talking about the visitors from the UK, the hotel capacity was at 70, 71 percent. So restricting capacity to 70% may not make a huge change. And, and I mean, I live in Dubai um, and I can see that the roads are still full and people are going to offices. So as I said, this is kind of an opening gambit. It's saying to people, look, you need to be careful. But obviously the infection rates have spiked um, since the new year and the last couple of days they've come down a bit. But um, I don't see this, this, this isn't a hugely significant move. Of course, it may get worse, we don't know yet. And what do you say to these critics in the United Kingdom, the rest of Europe and elsewhere? I mean, I don't know. I mean, it seems kind of a, a difficult argument. You know, an influencer comes down here, takes a shot of themselves sunning by the pool and suddenly there's an international row about it. I mean, at the end of the day, what is the hard data that suggests that folks coming back from the UAE uh, to Europe and elsewhere are, are spreading this uh, disease much more massively than it would be. I mean, isn't this just going to have to be something that's a cost baked in going forward? I mean, this is the cost of doing business under COVID? Yes. I mean, it's, it's obviously the infection rates are much higher in the UK than they currently are in the UAE. So making the case that somehow the UAE is causing issues is, is or, or that it's the, a super spreader country um, is clearly not the case. Um, and, I, and I think that, you know, the other thing that other countries have to realize, I mean, obviously that, you know, Dubai is a very service centered or oriented economy. Um, it suffered significantly in, in Q2 and Q3 last year. Um, but overall, the, the actual mortality rate in the UAE is very low. There's been 859 deaths here. Um, and I, my, on my quick calculations, I mean, the mortality rate per 100,000 here is 5% of what it is in the UK. Now, the biggest reason of that, the cause of that, is actually that there's a very young population here. Only, you know, 2% of the population is 65 years and old compared to 20% in Western Europe. So it's a different different setup and, you know, and, and the UA have taken a different track, uh, Dubai specifically, and I, I don't think it's, I don't blame them for that, frankly. And obviously, the real goal here in this country is to get everyone vaccinated as soon as possible and establish herd immunity. That is the strategy. And so far, it, it, it's very much underway. A third of the country have received at least one dose.